Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to use the idea of surface area to volume ratio to explain why multicellular organisms require exchange surfaces and a transport system. You should then be able to describe how gills increase the rate of transport of gases into and out of fish. In the last video we saw that molecules move in and out of cells by diffusion. For example oxygen diffuses into cells and carbon dioxide diffuses out. Now one key fact linked to the idea of diffusion is the surface area to volume ratio and we're going to look at that now. This shows a single celled organism called an amoeba. Now organisms like this have a huge surface area for their volume. Scientists call this the surface area to volume ratio. Single celled organisms such as an amoeba can rely on diffusion to transport molecules in and out of their cell. So for example all of the oxygen that the amoeba needs simply diffuses in through its membrane. In your exam you could be asked to calculate the surface area to volume ratio. Imagine I've got an organism shaped like a cube such as this one. The length of each side is one millimeter. The area of each side is one millimeter multiplied by one millimeter which is one square millimeter. I've got six sides so the total surface area of this organism is 6 square millimetres. The volume is 1 millimetre multiplied by 1 millimetre multiplied by 1 millimetre. This gives us a volume of 1 cubic millimetre. So the ratio of the surface area to the volume is 6 to 1. Here's another organism but this one's got sides with a length of 2 millimetres. I'd like you to calculate the surface area to volume ratio of this organism. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, the surface area is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6, which gives us a value of 24 square millimetres. The volume is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, giving us a value of 8 cubic millimetres. The surface area to volume ratio is 24 divided by 8, giving us a ratio of 3 to 1. Here's another organism and this one's got sides of 3 millimetres. For this organism the surface area to volume ratio falls to 2 to 1. So as you can see as organisms get larger the surface area to volume ratio falls sharply. Now this presents a huge problem for multicellular organisms and remember that these are organisms with more than one cell. Their surface area simply isn't large enough for their volume. Cells on the surface can get enough oxygen simply by diffusion. However, not enough oxygen can diffuse into the cells in the centre of the organism. They're simply too far away from the surface. Now animals have solved this problem in two ways. Firstly, animals have got special structures for gas exchange with a very high surface area. For example, lungs in mammals. Secondly, animals have a transport system to carry gases around the body. In later videos, we're going to look at how gases are exchanged and transported in mammals, but in this video we're looking at fish. Fish get their oxygen from the water. The oxygen rich water passes into the mouth. It then flows over gills where the oxygen is transported into the bloodstream. I'm showing you a picture of gills here. As you can see the gills are covered in a very large number of fine filaments. This is where gases pass in and out of the blood. Deoxygenated blood passes into the filament. Oxygen diffuses from the water into the blood and then the oxygenated blood returns to the body. The filaments have got three adaptations to increase the rate of diffusion. Firstly the filaments give the gills a massive surface area. The filaments also have a thin membrane to provide a short diffusion pathway. The filaments have an efficient blood supply to take the oxygenated blood away. This ensures that the concentration gradient is always high. So all of these adaptations make diffusion as efficient as possible. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on surface area to volume ratio in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok so hopefully now you should be able to use the idea of surface area to volume ratio to explain why multicellular organisms require exchange surfaces and a transport system. You should then be able to describe how gills increase the rate of transport of gases into and out of fish. Music